Greetings, geeks and girls. Welcome back to another comic book movie review. We are moving right along into this. Sorry it took so long to get back into it. I make up an excuse, but I'm just going to come clean with you guys. I just got a new tie, and I've been waiting, so... <laughs> you gotta deal with it. But Also, I'm using the VHS cover because it's more appealing to look at than the DVD that's just four movies and sets. Anyway, let's move on to the main event here. We went from Superman, now we're bouncing over to Batman, which is the pro probably the most famous Batman movie outside of The Dark Knight. What else can I realize? It's another one of those movies where I can't say much about it. But there's a couple things I do want to mention about the film. First of all, I didn't know who Michael Keaton was until I watched this movie. I didn't know who he was as Beetlejuice. This was my introduction to Michael Keaton himself, the actor. And same thing with Jack Nicholson as well, as the Joker. I didn't know who The Shining was. I didn't watch, like, Little Shop of Horrors or anything like that. I never watched any of his older work. I just knew him. Oh, he's the Joker. That's cool. He And Michael Keaton, same thing. Oh, he's Batman. But now I know him also as Beetlejuice. Um, I think that... Like, the back of the tape literally says the movie of the decade. So, uh, I would say that that about sums it up. But, for the sake of randomness, I'm going to continue and talk about... Let's just go ahead and basically explain the plot. If you don't know who Batman is, and if you aren't, what are you doing on this channel? Basic synopsis of Batman. Bruce Wayne was a lonely child who, who lived with his rich parents who were gunned down in an alley directly in front of him. To prevent something like this from happening to someone else, he grew up into his, par into his parents' riches, and with the help of their manservant, I mean butler, Alfred, he, they were allo he allowed himself to basically become a human, human Swiss Army knife of justice, a.k.a. Batman. And the movie itself basically doesn't go into any of that detail whatsoever. You don't know anything about Batman himself. All you know is everything about the Joker, which again, this is before the Joker movie that came out. And this is how I always saw the Joker's origin story. Everybody already knows the basic plot of, the jo of who the Joker is. Uh, you know, he basically, the only thing that really is clear to anybody, even to comic readers, is that he was involved in a chemical spill that turned his face and hair and everything all messed up, and Batman was involved in some way. So this movie took a lot of liberties with that story. They basically just took that and was like, okay, well, how can we fit all this into craziness? And not only do they kill the hero's main villain, yeah, spoiler alert, they take him out but at the exact same time they also do something else with the joker they make again spoiler alert he kill he's actually the one who killed off bruce wayne's parents years ago so that makes the joker very a lot more interesting than you would expect him to be uh also i really like keaton's performance as batman in this it, he's probably my favorite live-action Batman. He's probably my favorite live-action Batman, I can say that, because I don't want to get Aflac. I don't want to get... Like, Aflac is great, but I don't want to get uh, Adam West or Kevin Conroy really offended, but he's probably the best live-action Batman, because you know nothing about him. You don't know his act... Unless you ever read the comics, you know nothing about Batman as a character in this movie. All you know is, that's ab is about his parents' death. That's it. And everything is all shrouded in mystery. There's only one conversation that happens about why Batman does what he does, and it's very brief. So it really does feel like this character is sort of shrouded in mystery, which makes sense. Batman is mysterious, and he is quiet. And I still don't get why people didn't want Keaton in the role, because he fits this character perfectly. Another uh, little thing I wanted to talk about is a couple of my favorite scenes. I have two favorite scenes in this movie. And one of them is focused on Batman, and the other is focused on the Joker. The first, my favorite scene, is focused on Batman, which comes up first, naturally. It's just gotta be the opening scene where those guys get when those guys mug them and Batman first shows himself. When he first appears, even watching it on a TV, you can practically hear every fanboy in the world screaming and cheering and just going nuts because we're seeing our hero on the big screen. And my other favorite scene goes to the Joker. 
which is probably the scene where he electrocutes the guy in the conference room. It's just so a perfect balance of disturbing as hell, but also able to be funny and also in the same way, typical Joker. It just works for me. And I'd say that, I think the best way to describe this is I'm just going to flat out and just rate it because what else can I say about this movie? I'm just going to say it 5 bats out of 10. 100, 5 bats out of 10. 5 bats out of 5. I've done this for so long. Jesus, I should know this. Uh, one thing I do want to mention uh, that Lyra Rogers brought to my attention on YouTube slash Lyra Rogers. Go check her out. She's awesome. Uh, she brought this to my attention when I was watching this movie with her. And she mentioned something about a line that I never understood. The Joker says, I am a mind make some movie. I heard that line and I had no idea what he meant. And immediately, Lyra breaks into laughter next to me. And I'm confused what's going on. And she tells me what it means. I'm not going to say anything. You guys got to look that up for yourselves. <laughs> look up what, what that term means. Just look that up on Google. Trust me. She will have a good laugh afterwards. Um... So that's about it. Uh, next, we're going to move into Superman 2, which I actually watched b before this because I know this movie so well. And uh, I also had to get a lot more DC movies. I got some movies that I like, some movies I don't like, and some movies that are going to probably confuse people or make them angry. So I got a lot of watching to do. So if you'll excuse me, you guys leave a like, subscribe, do all the clicks and bells and things, and I will see you geeks and girls later.